I'm still fun, super bubbly, have many talents. The start talent. of an era. Oh. Hey everyone, the so today I'm doing a video that so welcome coming. to another episode of Cooking with Trish, Cooking with Babish. I'm cooking with basic. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> This is the story of Trisha Paytas. Moses! Moses! Uh. Hey guys. Moses, can you tell Malibu she needs to fold the laundry for Mama? What's up guys? This is me, Trisha Paytas. Moses, can you make an appointment? for uh, my bikini wax later, Moses. And can you tell Cody if he uh, wants to hang out with Michaela and us at dinner tonight at Master's? Ugh, Moses. Moses, did you call Clump? Moses, did you call Professor Clump? Ugh, so lazy. I don't know why I married my assistant. Hello, Clump? I'm ready for my close up. So I want to do a documentary about like all the negativity I get online and um, I don't have a PR team, but um, Adam McIntyre, he keeps coming for me. Peter Mon, Spill Sesh, Tea Spill, <sighs> Spill Some Tea With Me, Animal Kingdom, Sebastian, it's all those girls. They just make me look really bad. And then there's this Reddit page and they like make fun of my weight and like my kid and stuff. And I just, we need to like make a movie, like a documentary where like, I'm just not that person, you know? So I'm gonna have Moses, my assistant, I mean, my husband, ca um, cash app you so we can get like, like a documentary road. Okay, okay, thanks, bye. Anyways, what's up guys? It's Rich Lux. I know you're so shocked. You thought it was Trisha Paytas. This is my Trisha Paytas fantasy moment. Did I did, did I nail it? Did I nail it? Moses! You need to cut the grass, please, Moses. And did, excuse me, guys. Moses, did we pay the taxes on the house? Oh, where is he? Probably not be cheating on me. Let me check my tracker. Anyways, guys, I just want to say. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Rich Lux. I'm a commentator, drama channel, a clown with the crown, if you say it. I've been following Trisha Paytas for years. I've met Trisha Paytas before. We've shot videos together before. She accused me of stealing her video camera, which was a total lie, and I got so much, like, all these people came for me and stuff like that. Never got an apology from her. She uh, tends to self-sabotage. I just been following Trisha. I've humanized her. I saw the person in her. I saw the flaws. I can honestly tell you when it comes to Trisha Paytas, I can tell you the good, the bad, and then the bottom line, right? But that's not what we're gonna do today because Trisha Boom Boom Paytas has stars some drama. And apparently there is a documentary film that's being made about Trisha Paytas, allegedly about that. This is all speculation and rumors, but if you know, then you know. If you can pick up what I'm putting down. And there is a, a news crew following people around, interviewing them, asking them irrelevant questions about Trisha. Okay. As you can see behind me, there's like, equipment set up in my living room. They have the cameras because, um, yes, I am part of filming a documentary. And um, let's talk about it. So this is where we do the first day of interviews. This is their microphone, their lighting. Um, they had like, our, this was our playroom that got like rearranged. Um, they had the cameras here, which obviously they took last night. Um, more lighting, you guys know I don't have this lighting in my house and this is kind of like the backdrop for one of the interviews. And I just find it very interesting because I picked up the phone and I'm gonna call Adam McIntyre. Second, hopefully he can cover my, my phone bill because he lives overseas. Hi, Adam. Yes, it's Rich Lux. How are you? Yeah, look, girl, I know. Listen, I don't have much time, but I do want to say this. Um, we just need, cause, m listen, my subscribers are dying to know. As you know, my channel's been quite dry lately, Adam. And I just want to know, have you been interviewed for a potential documentary series about Trisha Pastas? Oh, you haven't? Oh, okay. Well, just to let you know, neither have I. But I've seen what these people are doing. Yeah, yes, Adam. Oh, just a second. Oh, to talk so much. Adam, listen, these 
documentary crew people, they're like interviewing like people with not even like a million subscribers. Like they're not even interviewing the people closest to Trisha and they're not even interviewing people like I'm not trying to be shady, but they're like, you know, small up and coming channels, you know, you gotta watch out for them because they might blow up. But they're interviewing like these small channels. They're not interviewing people who like really know Trisha, you know? Okay, but listen, I gotta go. Okay, it was good talking to you. Bye, I love you. Okay, here we go. So I picked up that phone. Hi, yes, Peter Mon, how are you? It's Rich Lux, uh-huh. How's the dogs? Oh, how's Alex? Great, love to hear it. Listen, I'm so sorry I didn't go get to go to the women's meeting. I know, I know. I just, I'm just so, I'm just consumed with this Jeffree Star, Jaclyn Hill, Trisha Paytas drama, you know? But that's the reason why I'm calling, listen, I'm not gonna hold you. I know you're in Miami, on the beach with the Speedo, living your life. I, I get that, okay, check it out. But have you been contacted but to be in a documentary film about Trisha Paytas and how like she gets bullied online and stuff like that? Oh, you haven't. What video am I making today? I don't know, Peter. What video are you making today? Uh-huh. Well, just to let you know, there is a reporter who's interviewing people to be in a, in a Trisha Paytas documentary, but they, they haven't contacted me. And I spoke to Adam McIntyre and um that they haven't spoken to him either. And you just confirm you're not speaking to you? Oh. I know, right? Okay, well listen, I gotta go. Have fun on the beach. Tell Alex I said hi. And uh, also tell your good Judys, my, Melissa and Jason. Get, uh huh, okay, tell Melissa and Jason, uh huh, okay, bye. Uh, Peter just talks forever. All right, hold on. I'm gonna put out the big guns now. Hi, Jeffree Star, how are you, Jeffree? It's Rich Lux, 10 million subscribers, 50 million views a day. The next Perez Hilton, how are you? Listen, um, Next in line for the throne. Uh, listen, I'm gonna, is it okay if I put Shane Dawson on three-way? Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, he's ringing. Okay, you there, Jeffrey? Okay. Shane, I have Jeffree Star on three-way. Hi, it's Rich Lux. Uh, oh, I thought y'all were the best of friends. You haven't talked in a minute? Wow, okay, I didn't know, okay. Well, listen, this is, I know, Shane Dawson, I know you have an upcoming documentary. I know it, I know. But listen, we're not talking about that because Trisha Paytas is apparently allegedly coming out with her own documentary series. I know! What great timing of it all, right? Uh-huh. I, so I just wanted, now that I have you, uh, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star on the phone, I just wanted to, to clarify, did, oh, hold on just a second. Moses, Moses, can you bring me a water with the pH about to 8.5 or higher? Oh, thank you, thank you, Moses. I gotta open it myself, oh my God. Hold on, Jeffree, hold on, Shane. Oh, oh my God. This drama this has me so parched. Hey guys, okay, it's Rich Lux again. Yeah, so now that I have Shane and Jeffrey, you want, no, this phone call's not being recorded, no. Listen, did, has anyone contacted you to be a part of a documentary series about Trisha Paytas? They haven't. Well, listen, just between us squirrel friends, I spoke to Peter Mon, I spoke to Adam McIntyre, uh-huh. Let me send T-Spill a, a quick text real quick. t -Spill. Uh huh. So you would think that if they're doing a documentary on Trisha, that they would, you know, actually contact Jeffrey Star, Shane Dawson, some of the big, big, big YouTubers who talk about her. You know, maybe even Ethan Klein. Look, I, oh, T Spill just texted me back, and T Sesh. They have not been contacted by um, a documentary film, film crew either. <laughs> Jeffrey, you're so shady. <laughs> okay, I'll call you back later, guys. Bye. Jeffree Star said they're only contacting irrelevant channels. Oh my god, that's so, so shady. But here we go. This is so interesting that they're doing a documentary and they're not even asking some of the major players who have been covering Trisha Paytas, who can sit down and be like, look, listen, here's the good, the bad, and the bottom line about it, right? Trisha Paytas, and listen, I might get hate for saying this, but Trisha Paytas has been showing that she has slowed down when it comes to drama. And I think it really has been affecting her bottom line and her money, because you know, people act funny when it comes to money. Can we leave that in the comments down below? And seriously, can we get this video to like 10,000 likes? Are you serious, guys? Like, seriously, I'm giving you full Trish to Pace fantasy right now, okay? Look, I, I even nailed the lazy eye, just like her. Like, I, I nailed it down, okay? I even nailed the little crooked tooth right here and everything, just like Trisha, I nailed it down, okay? But seriously, can I get a like on this video? Love you guys so much, okay? So anyway, Trisha Pace, I have to give it to her. She has been slowing down on the drama, and I think she she's really been focusing on being a mom. I think that her content is kind of boring now. She's not bringing the drama. She's not accusing people of stuff. She's not, 
you know, doing collaborations on her only ceiling fans and she's not, you know, stuff like that. And I think that her becoming a mom and her becoming, most importantly, becoming a wife is a full-time job. Wife, mother, two YouTube channels, OnlyFans creators, like, and, you know, this whole influencer lifestyle, I think is really taking a toll on her and she's focusing on what matters most. But by doing that, she's not bringing in the coins like she used to. I also find it very interesting and I'm gonna make a quick phone call real quick. Hi, Gila, the queen, Gila, how are you? I saw your Instagram picture with the Chanel boots. I love them. Listen, do you have um, Ethan Klein on the, over there? No, 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 don't give him the phone. Just put him on speaker, yeah. I just, I just need both y'all to hear, to hear this. Hey, hi Ethan, how are you? Yes, Rich Lux. Drama channel of the year. I, listen, I should have won. I should have won that because we all know what happened to Deaf Noodles. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I don't want it. It seems to be a curse. <laughs> listen, yes, Ethan. I wanted to ask you and Gila, since I have you here, have you been contacted by a documentary film crew to be in Trisha Paytas' upcoming hit movie about her life and how she's being the victim and all this situation and how she can just never escape the drama? You haven't. Well, listen, can you keep a secret? I know you can. Listen, I talked to Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, Peter Mom, Spill Sesh, Spill Some Tea with Tea Spill, and Adam McIntyre. And they all said they have not talk to Trisha Paytas or her film crew. So what kind of documentary is that? Now, now there's a channel called Animal Kingdom and they talk to her. Uh-huh, yeah, I like her, she's crazy. I love her. They talked to Animal Kingdom about it, but, and then like, I think they talked to maybe Amberlynn Reed and maybe they even interviewed, I don't, why they would interview Eugenia Cooney? I don't understand why, that makes no sense. But the, I don't understand that. Yeah. So I just caught an ass since, since you know, y'all are family, you know, since Trisha is now your family member, um, that they would have contacted family to be in this doc. Because he, Ethan, Gila, y'all are family. Y'all are related to Trisha, correct? Now that she married Moses. Uh-huh, right. Well, I just want to let you know, you know, a little birdie came and told you. Okay. I, well, listen, I got to go. Okay. But I love you. I love you so much. Okay. Oh. Love Gila. Okay. That's pretty much all I got. I mean, here's the thing, right? If we're going to do... PR 101, okay? If we're really gonna talk some serious, let's really stir the pot in a positive direction for Trisha. And I don't do this often. Uh-uh, my PR advice, listen, I should I should have a PR firm at this point because I can give, I can get advice for days. Okay, fix it, girl. There we go, now I look more like Trisha now. Okay, any more left to the side and I kind of look like like uh, Michaela Nogura if I kind of do like, but I'm trying to do all that, okay. So let's talk, the rings are off. My thing is, if Trisha Paytas truly wanted to do a documentary series about her life and, and maybe to, to bring it back into her and make people fall in love with her, I think Trisha's seen that it worked for Jeffree Star and how Shane Dawson sanctified Jeffree Star. I think that she's seen that. I think that she's seen the documentary with um, David Dobrik and things like that. I'm about to get real, girl, here we go. I think that Trisha knows that she has burned some bridges, but I don't see her ever making amends, you know? I don't see her ever reaching out to Jeffree Star or Shane Dawson and be like, hey, you know what, I messed up. I'm going through a lot, I have problems, and it just went too far, and I was just insecure, and I was just upset about things and stuff like that, because surely, it, listen, if Shane Dawson and Trisha Page were still friends to this day, Shane Dawson would help her out and do a little quick documentary with her. You know what I'm saying? But they don't do that because she burned those bridges. And I find it most interesting how she's going about it now by contacting up and coming channels instead of actually channels that she's affected. Like myself, when she said I stole her camera, which I never did, which I know the real tea that happened in Las Vegas. Let's not forget I was there, which started a lot of drama. Okay, but all that to say this, if Trisha Paytas truly, truly and wholeheartedly, 100% wanted to make a documentary about her life and how things were supposed to go down, then Trisha Paytas would easily make a video where she is being followed by a camera and they're telling her and they're saying, Trisha, we wanna see you. Trisha, we wanna see you on the kitchen floor crying because you have this crippling anxiety and you're struggling to be a mom and you're struggling to pay the bills and Moses don't want to work and work hard enough and we want to know what is going on with this impersonations of people with trying to look like 
Dolly Parton and Marilyn Monroe and your obsession with Dolly and Ollie Marie or whatever the case may be. Like, we want to know the tea, okay? Let's get that straight. And I think that if Trisha Paytas truly took us on this journey and let us know and opened up and let us into the mind of Trisha and why she does what she does, whether it's because of abuse as a child, mistreated as a child, what her mom did or didn't do as a child, what her sister did or didn't do, what the teacher that she went to school with did or didn't do, what the friends in her life did or didn't do and sat down and just opened up truly to her audience and let us into the world of Trisha that we have never seen before and why she hasn't released a music video in months and why she hasn't hit a video that hits like a million views in a long time and really why she had the she felt the need to have three four weddings and really bring us on that journey so that we as a people who are watching can say, yes, she's flawed, but she's beautiful and she has a heart. But I don't think she's even starting off on the right foot because if she was, she would reach out to Peter Mon, Adam McIntyre, T. Sesh, Ethan Klein, Hila Klein, Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, with Gabby Hanna, some people with some type of itty bitty revelings on YouTube and say, what was your issue with Trisha? What happened? And why do you think Trisha does the things that she does? But if this is gonna be a fluff piece about Trisha Paytas, woe is me, woe is me, being bullied online all the time, I'm just misunderstood, that is not how it's gonna go. And I think the audience, you at home, who's watching this video, who clicked the like button and subscribe, hopefully you didn't, leave a comment. God can't get a comment and save my life. Can't get a like in this video to save my life. If the people, if you guys are able to see any type of just fraud, fakeness, it's the whole thing's out the window. If I was the director, film project manager of this Trisha Paytas documentary, I would have to have a serious conversation with Trisha and I would say, you're not gonna make a mockery of me and what in my business brand here, if you really want a documentary to be done about you, it needs to be real and raw. And I can't have this be a fluff piece about how you're just the greatest person in the world. And that's just the truth all day long. And not only to address why did you pop off on Ethan Klein and Hila Klein? What happened with frenemies? And Trisha Paytas needs to sit down and say, yes, I was wronged and this person or that person or this situation I was wronged, but I also played a part in that too. And I need to make amends with people. I never forget, for some reason I remember this. She said Peter Mon brought de demonic energy into her home. I think she said that one time. She said that Jeffree Star is like this mean girl, and he probably is, he probably is. But then who are you to judge? Because Trisha's not perfect, I know I'm not perfect. I sit up here and, and cast judgment all day long, and I have my skeletons that have been, girl, I've been caught every name in the book. But I'm not sitting up here making a documentary about what was me and the, everyone's against me and, and it's all everyone's problem. This document, like I, I could literally picture the documentary, right? And how it just starts with like the camera panning over her home, her $3 million mansion. And it's just so beautiful. And there's like light, beautiful music playing and the camera zooms in into her room and cameras are there and Trisha Page just looks like crap. Girl. And she has no makeup on, and she's just like, like you know, big cheeks, like looking horrible, feeding the baby, breastfeeding, whatever she does, and just like the real, the real. And there's just clothes all over the place, and the kitchen's a mess, and you can just tell by the video it smells in there. And you're just like, whoa, that is too real. That is that is what people want to see. And she sits down, and she gets her glam teen, and she puts the makeup on, and she's like, I'm I'm trying my best here. I'm trying to be a decent human being, and I have to make amends and apologize to a lot of people. And I don't think she's willing to do that. Because Trisha Paytas, when she does apologize, it's a blanket apology. It's, I just want to say I'm sorry for like everything I've ever done before. And I just want to say, hold on. I just want to say I'm sorry to like everybody like I've, I've ever made you mad or something like hold on I gotta do it right. I just want to say like I'm, I want to apologize to everyone I offended like if you ever like mad about, about something I did like I just want like I'm sorry and we just like we pass over it and over it you know what I'm saying okay like no it needs to be a direct apology I want to say I'm sorry to the family of this 
person because of this. I made this up as a lie. I got lost. I got lost in, in, into the views and the clicks and the money. And somewhere along the way, I lost myself. And having this baby, I somehow found myself. Or I somehow doesn't even make it even better. I, lo I don't even know who I am anymore. I went from being this controversial, driving a pink G-Wagon, living in, in the heart of Los Angeles, to now being a mom and married in a house. Who am I? What happened? How did we get? Thank, thank you, Moses. You guys, listen. I rarely get on camera and just read the girl. I rarely get on here. I just keep it super fun and superficial. I can care less. I'm not all ate up with this drum. When I turn this camera off, girl, I'm out with Trey living my life, girl. At Mastro Steakhouse doing me, right? In the VIP room of Chanel or Mads, Louis Vuitton, just hanging out, girl. That's where you can find me, girl. I'm not all ate up with this. But when I found out, listen, y'all need to grab a snack and come on back. Light them if you got them. But I just want to say this. I like to think of my channel. We just sit down and just talk, have a kiki, right? Just talking to a friend of mine. <laughs> when I found out that Trisha Paytas was allegedly doing a documentary series, <laughs> I was like, oh, girl, it's either going to go one or two ways. It's going to go good or bad. It has to hit. It has to hit. It, it needs to be riveting. It needs to, it, I have to feel like I can't wait until part two. But if this is gonna be some type of some type of documentary to to sell skincare or merch, it's just not gonna go well. Because just because it worked for Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star does not mean it's gonna work for Jeff or Jacqueline. What's her name? Not Jacqueline. Although she needs a documentary of herself. Uh, it's not gonna work for Trisha Paytas. For some reason, there's this whole thing about like if you if you get caught in drama, oh, just make a documentary about it. Just make a documentary, hang out with homeless people, and then and give give back, and there you go. everything just gets just goes away. No, mm -mm. listen. If I ever sat down and made a documentary, it's gonna be like, yeah, that person's a low down dirty snake, and I they're not gonna deserve my apology. They ain't getting it and never will. Be a cold day in hell before they do. They can burn. Girl, some people I will say that too, cause they're low down dirty snakes, sneaky. If Trisha Paytas, if she has that type of energy, great. At least you're being on it. But if it's going to be, uh, it's just, like I said, and I, I keep harping on it. If she's going to make apologies in this documentary, it needs to be real. It can't be like, I'm just sorry for everybody. Like, whatever. Everyone's so obsessed with me. Everyone's so obsessed with me. I don't know why everyone's so obsessed with me. Girl, Trisha Paytas is not as influential as she used to be. Trisha Paytas is not making as much money as she, as she used to be. And Trisha Paytas ain't getting the type of views as she used to get. And a lot of people are on the platform. I understand that. Can't relate, but I understand it. But Trisha Paytas, if this if this is what you're trying to do, fix a damn wig. Cause listen, I know y'all gonna expose me and like screen record this and other, so I at least wanna look good for y'all cancel me, I wanna look. So if Trisha Paytas is gonna get on camera and, and act fake, it's not gonna be a good look for her. It's just really not. And most importantly, if they want this documentary to work, they're gonna need, and actually, they don't even need to contact Peter Ma, Adam McIntyre, Spill Says Teaspoon, Animal Kingdom, all, all these people they need to contact. They don't even need to contact any of those people. Sloan, they don't even need to contact Sloan. They don't need to contact Jeffrey or Shane. They don't need to contact anybody. The video clips are already out there on YouTube. You just grab it, screen record it. This is what this person said. Like, literally, if, if Trisha Paytas was to sit down, you know how they do with those documents, they, they rent a hotel room and they sit in a chair and it's like the camera's on them, it's all blurred out in the background. And they say, here Trisha, here's this video. We're gonna play it for you. This is what so-and-so had to say about you during this scandal particularly. And Trisha's like, and then the guy says, so what do you have to say about that? I, I'll be happy with that. It's easy, it's easy. And all they really need to do is contact maybe one or two commentary channels and be like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And if they do contact commentary channels and people find out that they're like team Trisha and like she can do no wrong and they're like totally like all like, I love Trisha so much, Trisha can do no wrong. Like that's gonna be fake the house too. Those person, those people are not gonna be trusted on the internet anyways at that point. So they should watch out. If people are, are getting contacted to be in this Trisha Page documentary, they need to come with the good, the bad, and the bottom line. But if it's all like, mm, let Trisha, mm, it's not gonna work out, girl. And people are gonna call it out. Y'all gonna say, cash grab the house, rent must be due, whoop de whoop de woo And I've seen the, product, the production team, it seems pretty legit, seems like a good company to work, to do work with. Like the, the camera quality better be good. 
which is so interesting. Like this has to be a really good passion project for Trisha because Trisha Paytas rarely, rarely ever picks up a professional camera and has someone record what she's doing. She usually just does it from her phone the whole entire time. Like when she did her baby room reveal, the Malibu Barbie room, I thought she was gonna hire a professional film crew to come do those panoramic shots, make it look all pretty. No, just her walking around. the room, guys. So when she did her house tour, I thought, again, panoramic view, professional view, camera shots. No, just her walking around. Here's my house, guys. When she gets a brand new car, I thought it's gonna be really cool. Maybe, just, you know, drone shot of this, drone shot of that, you know, professional camera. No, just her, this is my car, guys. Like, that's, if she actually put a little money into it, she would get a bigger return back, but she just doesn't. It's so weird. So the fact that now, She's, and if you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys know what I'm talking about. Now that she's finally doing so, a documentary about her life or whatever it is, now she decides to hire a film crew. And I just find that so interesting. I think that she feels like this is a way for her to finally make it out or get some type of attention or keep relevant because she hasn't been in a while, you know? But anyway, it doesn't matter what I think about all this drama. It really doesn't. It matters what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I really, really appreciate you guys for watching. If you made it this far in the video, leave a heart emoji in the comment if you made it this far in the video i would really appreciate that you left the heart and i just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watches thank you to everyone who's liked the video if I ever made you laugh ever made you cry ever made you get shocked and upset about something i appreciate you if you leave a like a comment and i just appreciate that a lot i love you guys so much thank you guys for watching and uh yeah i'll see you on tiktok twitter instagram snap all that stuff girl and um, I just want to say, everyone be safe. Make good choices. Easier said than done, right? Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, I love you so much.